Hello everyone, this is Manu from Climatics Data Labs and this is a quick video on quadrant charts in Power BI. This is one of our interesting charts. I thought I'll share this with you. So if you see this uh, chart, which is basically a scatter plot with these two orange lines, which cuts this entire chart area into four quadrants. And this is what a quadrant chart looks like. Now, uh, the idea behind this chart is each quadrant has specific combination of the X and Y axis uh, parameter. So for example, this quadrant has high value of this average health expenditure versus uh, average infant mortality rate right so high values of both x and y components over here low of x and high of y over here and similarly the other four quadrants so this is what we're trying to achieve uh, i'm assuming that you already know how to create a scatter plot and i've taken uh, average infant mortality rate on the x-axis and average of health expenditure on y-axis from our data which is the word indicator data now how do we go about it? Uh, so first of all, you just create a simple scatter plot. So go to uh, this icon, which says uh, further analysis to your add further analysis to your visual. And then over here, there is X axis constant line, Y axis constant line and few other options. So for this, I'm going to use an average line from here and here, right? So what I do is I go to from here, I go to average line and then I say add line, right? And then this is uh, our real line, which if you try to edit, uh, it will show you if you see the underlying series of this uh, it says average of infant mortality rate which is this one similarly you can add another line right and this time you instead of saying infant mortality rate you choose the other axis and this time i get the axis like this and then further you can uh, format this axis if you want right for example you can go to the line and then change the color which i'm choosing orange and let's say I want to make it transparent and likewise you can select the other line right and then uh, do the ch required changes so now i get my two x's so which means these dots are having high values of x and y component so just to uh, see how we can infer from this if you see this dot it has very high infant mortality rate right and very high uh, health expenditure right uh, and if I go to this point, let's say to the extreme value over here, this has very low infant mortality rate and also very high, very low health expenditure as percentage of GDP, which is uh, a very desirable quadrant to be in, right? And uh, if you go to this quadrant, let's say this point, so over here, the health expenditure uh, uh, as a percentage of GDP is very high, but still the inf uh, and the infant mortality rate is low right so which which is understandable right and if you go here which is a very uh, uh, undesirable case which means very uh, uh, high infant mortality rate and uh, uh, at, a, at a low health expenditure right so you uh, you are spending less and obviously that's why the infant mortality rate is going high and the first one we discussed this one so over here, the infant mortality is, rate is high, even though you're spending more uh, on health as a percentage of GDP. This is the least desirable quadrant, right? So this way, you can define your problem statement and arrive at a quadrant uh, chart. One quick tip here, if you go to uh, icon over here, and if you switch on the zoom sliders, you get these interesting slider over here. Now the benefit of this is sometimes, you want to play around with the data. For example, you want to get rid of this outlier, right? So what you do is you just so what you do is you just slide and use a slider and get rid of the outlier. Likewise, I can get rid of this. And maybe let's say I want to get rid of few of these from here. Maybe these lower ones because I've identified that these are outliers for some reasons. Now, this way you can get rid of some outliers and just uh, gauge out your data and then maybe make some inferences from here. Uh, I thought this is a very interesting feature everyone should know. And also Power BI has uh, this very uh, easy zoom slider to uh, bring in this uh, wonderful uh, tool.
So I hope you like the video. Uh, if you like to see such videos in future, do comment, like, and share, and sub do subscribe to our channel. This is Manu from Climatrix Data Labs. Thank you.